There used to be a time when Disney was never taken seriously as a corporation, back at least half a century, when it was a film company that also produced a weekly TV show. Disney was often dismissed as a Mickey Mouse outfit, sticking with family fare, while networks and studios were churning out heavier content, from The Godfather to Saturday Night Fever. But Disney has emerged as one of the most powerful players in Hollywood and around the globe. The mouse's profits are in the billions these days, and we're about to get our calculations out to tabulate how much money Disney is really making. Before we boggle your mind with numbers galore, make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Now, let's open up the books to find out how much money Disney makes every second. There's no doubt that when it comes to flexing corporate power in showbiz, Disney's got a set of the biggest muscles around. But the company never used to be that way. Back when Walt and Roy Disney opened the Disney Brothers studio in 1923, both of the boys were flat broke, and conditions stayed that way, even when the company restructured to become the Walt Disney Studio in 1940. At the time, all it had were a few animated film shorts, most of them starring a character that would eventually become an entertainment icon, Mickey Mouse. Disney discovered early on that merchandising rights to the mouse could create enough sales from dolls and trinkets to finance the studio. More money meant more opportunity to create animated blockbusters like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Fantasia. Merchandising also signaled to Disney that the company could diversify beyond making films and mouse paraphernalia. By 1955, Walt branched off into the theme park business, opening up Disneyland in California. He already had a TV series going and was adding live-action movies like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to his filmography of animated classics. Walt passed away in 1966, and his brother Roy ran the company until he passed away too in 1971. But by then, the company already set their sights on bigger goals, such as their second theme park, the Epcot Center in Florida. They also created a few more movie studios for more adult content in the 1980s, and discontinued their TV series to create the Disney Channel on cable. Then, as the profits rolled in from those moves, the mouse went crazy. In 1996, Disney bought television network ABC and sports cable station ESPN for $19 million. A decade later, the company took over Pixar Animation, the creators of Toy Story and Finding Nemo, for a cool $7.4 billion. By 2009, Disney was in the comic book business, with the $4 billion acquisition of Marvel Entertainment, bringing over a slew of superheroes, from Spider-Man to Thor, all working for Mickey Mouse. Then, in 2012, the force was with Disney when it bought out Lucasfilm for another $4 billion, and with it, the entire Star Wars saga. With the likes of Luke Skywalker and the gang on board, a galaxy of opportunities awaited Disney, not only in additional movies and merchandising, but the collection of titles that had enough streaming possibilities and the hopes of eventually rivaling Netflix. Those are now in the works thanks to purchasing a 75% share in BAMTech, a sports live streaming company, and they also took over entertainment streaming company Hulu. Disney just recently scored its biggest deal ever. In March, the mouse bought Fox, as in 20th Century Fox, the Fox Network, and all of its cable properties for more than $70 billion. How valuable is Disney these days? Almost all the money made by Disney came from four sources, media networks, parks and resorts, studio entertainment, and consumer products and interactive media. Almost half of Disney's revenue came from its media networks, and no wonder. Besides its own channel, as well as ABC and ESPN, Disney also owns A&E, History, Lifetime, National Geographic, and even Vice Media. All told, it has roughly 100 networks and channels under the mouse's thumb. Total revenue from Disney's media networks? $24.5 billion. Disney's Parks and Resorts was the second strongest list of companies in terms of revenue, with more than 50 of these properties, which includes everything from Disneyland and Epcot to yacht clubs and beach resorts, the mouse is made in the shade. Total revenue from Disney's Parks and Resorts? 
Well, $20 billion can buy you a lot of days lying in the hot sun. Disney Studio Entertainment consists of everything from Walt Disney Pictures and Marvel to Pixar and Lucasfilm. But there's also a lot of independent studios in the mix, like Blue Sky Studio, plus studio distributors like Buena Vista, a handful of Disney music labels, and live theater groups that perform worldwide. But naturally, its biggest movie revenue came from blockbusters ranging from Incredibles 2 and Cars 3 to Ant-Man and the Wasp and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Total revenue from Disney Studio Entertainment? Let's round it off to $10 billion. The last revenue source, consumer products and interactive media, is the merchandising arm of Disney, which includes all the retail sales of items licensed by the company. Lumped in with that is the mouse's gaming division, Disney Interactive, which includes a huge catalog of video games, most of them based on the studio's movies. Total revenue from Disney's consumer products and interactive media? We'll make it simple and say $5 billion. Add all the revenue from additional miscellaneous sources and the mouse raked in nearly $60 billion in one year, taking away all the expenses and Disney was left with a profit of $12.6 billion. If the mouse walked off with $12.6 billion in profit in one year, he would have made $34.5 million in a day. As for how much an hour he'd get, how does $1.4 million sound? And for every minute that goes by, that's almost $24,000 going into his pocket. So every time you hear that clock tick, that other sound you hear is nearly $400 hitting the palm of his golden paw. Well, it's time to close Mickey Mouse's personal vault on this video. But what interested you most on how much money Disney takes in? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.